Enjoy this visual demonstration from synthrotech.com. <laughs> Guys, it's Steve. Um, talking to you again about our new ring modulator, passive ring modulator. Uh, pretty simple, easy to make circuit, but very, very powerful, and it makes some really, really spacey noises. Okay, what I kind of mentioned before here is I got my CS5 Yamaha and my Mo going through the ring modulator. Um, later, we're going to add in the 16 step sequencer and add some spacey noise. But for now, we just got two different uh, frequencies meeting together and making some weird stuff, like the, the frequencies kind of balance each other out, I've got the glide up my mode, so it does some really weird things, so I'll turn it up. Changing the waveform on the mode and the frequency of the LFO here. Do by itself, it's getting kind of crazier. Yeah, I'm gonna now add the 60 amp sequencer into my CS5, put it back into my CV input back here. This is kind of doing its own thing now. I'm just kind of having this thing affect the CV of this, so I'm not gonna have this much anymore. I'm gonna probably turn the LFO mod off, put some portamento on. I still have my glide for over here, but I'm going to mess with my mode now to get some different changes in frequency. Lower my octaves. On both of them. And now I'm going to add uh, in, in my um, Toneworks Korg cheap pedal my space noise. Put a little more high frequency into this. I got two LFOs going nutty at the same time.
Now we get the LFOs kind of cancel each other out with the ring mod. It's kind of crazy. Increase some of the temperature. 